Hi guys, the first of my CXT 12 volt Makita reviews. But before we get into this drill, just a thank you, 5,000 subs, cheers for that. Uh, thanks to all those who have been subs for a long time. And if you're not subbed already, please, you know, go down, hit the sub thing, hit the little bell so you get the notifications, share the videos, like, etc. Blah de blah. Also, before we get into it, I've got quite a few 12 volt tools coming up. Let me know below which one you want next. This is the drill driver. I've also got to review impact driver, rotary hammer drill, jigsaw, tire inflator, heated jacket. Take your pick out of those five. Stick your comments down below which one you want to see next. And whichever one gets the most comments, I'll do that in the next review next week. So let's take a look at this. It's the DF333DWY. Makita 12 volt CXT cordless kit. Now in this kit you get the drill, a 1.5 amp hour battery and a slow charger, standard charger I guess they probably call it, but not a rapid charger. The drill number by itself without the kit is DF333D. I'm kind of perplexed why they make 1.5 amp hour batteries and 2 amp hour batteries. There's no physical size difference, so I wonder why they bother for half an, half an amp hour, you know. The 1.5 doesn't have a battery indicator, whereas the 2 does. But why not just make 2s? Why, why even bother with the 1.5s? Anyway, this kit comes with a 1.5. Now, we've had this tool for a few weeks now, quite a few weeks. You might have seen it being used in the Doof Dex video, as well as the video making my wife's workbench. She's been using it for making some of her projects, and she likes it. It's a very light tool, very comfortable, easy to hold. Great if you want a subcompact tool and you're not doing any heavy duty drilling. Particularly if you're drilling above your head, it's nice and light. Much better than a subcompact 18 volt because you've got this tiny little light battery. These batteries, they are just so light, so small that good for getting into tight places and just very light. Charger, like I say, is the standard charger. We've been using a rapid charger. So the standard charger gonna be twice as long to charge the batteries as the rapid charger. So that isn't a big deal if it's just around the house and you don't use it too often. Using it for work purposes, you probably wanna get a rapid charger. Having said that, I mean, it's only like half an hour for a 1.5 amp hour with this in about 15 to 20 minutes on the other charger. The impact driver which I'll be reviewing soon also came in a kit but it came with two 2 amp hour batteries and a rapid charger. Anyway down to the drill. So speed wise you're looking at 0 to 450 variable speed on the low speed. Better put it on the low speed if we're going to talk about the low speed. Okay, 0 to 450, very firm trigger, very good trigger. High speed, you're looking at anywhere up to 1700 RPM, variable speed right from 0 again. Now I believe she'll give you 30 Newton meters of torque, that's what I think I remember seeing. What are the features? She's got a light, as most tools do these days, three jaw chuck, plastic chuck. Uh, she's only a 10 mil chuck, not a half inch. Okay, so if you need a half inch, you better go for the 18 volt. Basic functions on here, drill, and then your screwing torque settings from 1 up to 20. Not that we'll ever be using it for driving screws, seeing as you've got an impact driver. It came with a belt clip, which hasn't been put on. Wife doesn't need belt clips. So this is primarily for use by my wife. I might use it every now and again if I've got to do something small in a small space. But overall, it of course doesn't have the power of an 18 volt tool, which is what I'm used to. 
Let's see how it goes up against um, an 18 volt tool. We've got two drills, 12 volt and an 18 volt. Now this is the lower end 18 volt so this has a top speed of 1500 RPM whereas the 12 volt actually has a top speed of 1700 RPM. So we're just going to see how they both go. They've both got fresh batteries and I just want to see how well the 12 stands up against an 18. This is going to be more a field test than anything so I'll do sort of half a dozen with the 18 and then half a dozen with the 12. Now the 12 volt. So the 18 felt a bit better, but not a huge amount. 12 did pretty well on such a long drill bit. And just for comparison, here's the Makita top of the line 18 volt. So as you can see, it can do the job, just not as quick. But I was quite impressed with how good this drill actually is. Just while I'm doing this review, I'm also um, wearing the heated jacket. And I'll tell you what, it's getting quite quite cosy, especially on the back of the neck. On a cold day today, it's quite nice. We're going to drive some screws now in laboratory conditions. 8 gauge by 32 mil, 10 gauge by 50 mil, 2 inches, 10 gauge by 65, and 14 by 75, 3 inches. Let's go. No holes drilled first, just driving them straight into pine. Top gear. Okay, so it can't do the 14 gauge by 75 on top gear, so we'll lower the speed, crank up the torque. And there we go, she did it. What about taking them out? Let's stick it on high gear, see what happens. Easy peasy. in the low gear. So, that's pretty good for a 12 volt tool. Such a tiny little tool. The case is quite cute in size, as you can see, not too big. But, there's plenty of room inside for what you need, obviously. So you have the drill, which can be in there with a battery on. You can fit two more batteries in these areas here, like so. Got a little space here for putting driver bits, etc. And you've got plenty of space here to leave your drill bit in, which I often do. And of course, the charger there. Much smaller than this case, which is the equivalent 18 volt drill. As you can see, quite a difference there in the size. And it's much smaller than that monster. So there you have it, guys. Pretty cute little drill set, doesn't come with that. One 1.5 drill and the charger. The drill, it's good. You know, it's they're way better than what I thought they'd be, these CXT tools. Not all of them, but the drill impact driver, fine if you're just doing little stuff. Great for my wife, she loves them, she hates handling the big tools. <sighs> yep, put your own joke down below. Um, so thanks for watching, and like I say, comment down below, do you want the heated jacket, do you want the tire inflator, do you want the impact driver, do you want the rotary hammer, do you want the jigsaw? Leave me a message down below, and I'll get on to making the next one. Cheers, guys.
Isn't that cute? 